Cambodia donates medical supplies to Nepal. Cambodia's Standing Secretary of State of the Foreign Affairs Ministry, His Excellency Osh Bodit, and the Health Ministry Secretary of State, Her Excellency Dr. Yuk Sambat, brought more than two million face masks and other essential items such as personal protective equipment, ventilator machines, goggles and handheld temperature scanners to Nepal to help combat COVID-19. His Excellency Uj Boris said that Nepal was the fourth country to receive such a donation from Cambodia, after Laos, Myanmar and Timor-Leste. He further asserted that the efforts was testament to Cambodia's solidarity with other nations to mitigate the pandemic's impact. Our gratitude, Cambodia, for your caring contributions. May our world soon emerge together into a brighter and safer future in heaven's mercy. Retired Israeli general explains government's contact with extraterrestrials. Former director of space programs at the Israel Ministry of Defense, retired Brigadier General Hayam Heshed, has revealed during a media interview that the governments of the United States and Israel have spoken with members of a galactic federation of extraterrestrial beings for years. He noted that the Federation did not want humanity at large to know about them up to now, saying that people were not ready. Brigadier General Eshed also stated that the visitors are conducting explorative experiments on Earth, but there is no reason to fear them. Former Canadian Minister of National Defense, His Excellency Paul Hillier, has likewise confirmed extraterrestrials' contact with governments. Our appreciation, Brigadier General Hayam Heshed, and Your Excellency Paul Hillier for courageously opening our eyes to our galactic neighborhood. We pray that humanity will soon become more civilized and ready to be part of peaceful galactic relations. Scientists discover signs that ancient humans may have hibernated in winter. Dr. Antonis Batsiokas of the Democritus University of Thrace in Greece and Dr. Juan Luis Azuaga of the Universidad Complutense de Madrid in Spain found evidence of this after examining fossilized human bones excavated from a large underground cave in Spain. The bones, which are over 400,000 years old, showed seasonal variations in their growth similar to those of other hibernating animals at that period. This suggested that our ancestors went to sleep in the winter to lower their metabolism for several months of each year to deal with a frigid climate with an inadequate food supply. Thank you, Dr. Antonis Batsiokas and Dr. Juan Luis Azuaga for your interesting findings that sheds light on the life of our ancient relatives. We count our blessings for the comforts we enjoy today as we look forward to an ever more advanced future. Australian State Develops Renewable Energy Zones or REZ. The New South Wales government, recipient of two Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion and a Shining World Leadership Award for Protection, as well as a Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion and Caring Laureate, has prioritized network upgrades to facilitate more efficient clean energy delivery through the Central West Orana Renewable Energy Zone Transmission Project. Power network operator Transgrid will manage the expansion of transmission lines around the city of Dabo. This network upgrade is expected to increase current renewable capacity by 3,000 megawatts, sufficient to power 1.4 million homes. The construction of such zones will also attract the investments needed for more wind and solar farms. Smart Move, New South Wales Government, Transgrid and Partners. In line with these green developments, may we also implement the vegan solution at a rapid pace in order to ensure a saved planet. United States doctor forgives patients debts. Dr. Omar Atik, founder of the Arkansas Cancer Clinic, cleared over 650,000 of his patients' debts at the start of the new year. As he was closing his practice after nearly three decades, Dr. Attic soon realized that many of his former patients could not afford to pay their bills. 
a kind oncologist sent cards to 200 individuals he had treated, notifying them that their deaths had been cleared and wishing them well. He said, I just hope that it gave them a little sigh of relief and made it easier for them so they could face other challenges they may be facing in their lives. While practicing, Dr. Attic also made sure all patients in need received treatment regardless of their ability to pay. God bless you, generous Dr. Omar Attic. May your loving actions create ongoing ripples of mercy and joy in our world. Young vegan chef stars in cooking show on BBC television. 12-year-old entrepreneur Omari McQueen from the United Kingdom, the Shani World Compassion Award recipient, has begun hosting his own vegan cooking show on Children's British Broadcasting Corporation, or CBBC, with a focus audience of children between the ages of 7 and 16. The show, What's Cooking Omari? features the talented and charming host showing how to make a wonderful array of vegan meals the whole family can enjoy. Omari's luscious lentil bolognese and chunky cauliflower nuggets are just two of the delightful, nourishing concoctions he has demonstrated. The seven-minute episodes have been airing every Sunday morning to inspire the next generation and hopefully the current one as well to drop animal products and create their own vegan treats in the kitchen. You are awesome, Omari. In divine love, may your show garner great success in guiding fellow children and everyone towards a benevolent future. Animal Rescue in United States cares for new mother dogs and their puppies. A new animal shelter called Almost Their Rescue in Phoenix, United States, was founded by Jerry Hormel to especially protect large breed pregnant or nursing dogs and their pups who are homeless. After Ms. Hormel spoke with local shelters about their biggest challenges, they all noted that much assistance was needed for the mama dogs, who are also among the most difficult to place into permanent homes. Almost Their Rescue provides quiet spaces for mother dogs to give birth and nurture their beautiful puppies who are also socialized with adults, children and other dogs. Once the pups are old enough, they can all be adopted by people willing to give them forever homes. Thank you, Almost Their Rescue team, for your special shelter and all that you do for these animals. Wishing your endeavor all the best so that many sweet canine mothers in need can safely raise their young. Supreme Master Shanghai lovingly present the Shining World Compassion Award to Almost Their Rescue and a 10,000 US dollar humble contribution for your considerate work with gratitude and lots of hugs for the lovely families in your care. May the Divine bless you all.